Hello everyone and welcome to another smart home device uh, review. Today we are going to take a look at the temperature and humidity sensor for the Xiaomi Mi Home system, smart home. Uh, there are a lot of sensors for temperature and humidity. There are even uh, ones that measure atmospheric pressure, so plenty to choose from. This one has a display like uh, the others don't. Well, of course, there are other kind of sensors also with display. This is one with Bluetooth display that measures temperature and humidity. Let's call it that way. So I'm going to take it out of the box. Uh, you might say, well, uh, how can you use a Bluetooth uh, device with a smart home environment? Because Bluetooth usually connects to the uh, smart phone. And on the smart home environment, we usually use uh, Zigbee sensors that connect to a gateway. Well, uh, this is a very interesting thing. Actually, some of the Xiaomi devices also have Bluetooth gateways built in. Uh, for instance, e-light lamps, almost all of them have uh, built-in gateways. So if you have a device that works on Bluetooth, it's not necessary to use your phone just to read the sensor. Actually, this will connect to the ceiling lamp for instance and that one also has wireless and it will uh, collect the data over bluetooth from this and then we'll put it uh, available in uh, the mi home app so pretty smart to do the, that way so let's install this and see how it works so it comes with this protection here so it will not drain the battery in transport you just need to pull it out and now it's activated and it shows the temperature and the humidity also it comes with this sticky pad you can use it here and put it somewhere to see it better right so this is working i'm going to turn on bluetooth and location and now i'm going to click on add here add a device and it's scanning and it has detected this one but this one is already installed so it's not detecting this and it will not going to do that because this one has bluetooth and you can see there probably there is a sign for bluetooth which is not enabled so it cannot detect it to install it actually you need to edit manually so i'm going to go on search then i'm going to search for this device it actually remembers my last search because i previously searched for this device and now it's going to look for it and you need to have bluetooth and location enabled as i've shown you and now it's going to do some magic and it's going to enable bluetooth on this one you are going to see that Bluetooth is going to appear here. There you go. We have Bluetooth here. And it's now doing the magic. And device was added. As simple as that. Now this one has been added. And now it asks me for uh, an area, I can say living room here, I can uh, rename it, it's going to be sensor 2, I'm going to put another 2 because they are called temperature and humidity sensor 2 because it's second model, you can see here, if you read Chinese I don't, but that's the version, because it's somehow updated, alright, and then I'm going to click on next and let's get started I agree and now it's going to take a bit of time as it's going to sync data between the sensor and the phone and there you go 26.7.6 57% humidity. I like that uh, this uh, changes uh, uh, the count uh, very fast. So if I hold this in my hand uh, and my hands are now a bit sweaty and hotter than the air, you can see that humidity is uh, growing very fast and also it's registering more temperature. So it's acting very fast. Then here um, in the next day, you are going to have a nice graphic and I'm going to show you how the graphic looks like from the other device that I have so somewhere here not this one you can see and here's the graphic 
that I was telling you about. You have history and in history you can check multiple things uh, such as days, uh, months, six months period. You can see here exactly how the temperature and humidity varies. Also, you can use this in home automation because uh, it will connect to everything that has Bluetooth from this system. For instance, if you go here in profile, you have here Bluetooth low energy gateway option. And this one is enabled. And you can see here all my e lights support this and they have this enabled and you can see this one connected two devices, this one two devices, so everything that's Bluetooth and it's in the same environment can connect to the lamps. Lamps have wireless, the wireless will uh, send information. If you don't have anything with Bluetooth, you can get a hub that has also Bluetooth and that's going to connect to this. So you don't use the phone to connect to the sensor, otherwise it's kind of useless, it's just a nice display of temperature and humidity but it's not going to work in automation. In automation you have this information, you can control everything that you have such as AC, heaters, dehumidifiers and so on. So that was it for now, I hope that uh, you have enjoyed this and be sure to check the links that I'm going to include here with uh, other videos related to smart home devices and how to set up them. Until my next one, see you and bye bye.